Hi everyone, this is Menz here, playing the tier 10 Russian heavy tank IS-7 on Malinovka Encounter. I'm trying to take the hill here since the hill is generally very important to take at the start of the match on this um, mode here. Let's see... Oh, where... Oh, that guy pushed way far up. I'm like, where the fuck did he die? Hopefully we can surprise this guy. Artie's probably aiming at me, so we don't know. We wanted to get him out though, so that was definitely worth it. Shoot him there. He's gonna hit that little cupola there. Tweak. Yeah, tanks pushing up behind us. Got the untracked. No, untrack me. premium round load it so I knew I could go through his upper glacius. But I would say that that definitely worked out in my favor there. Five kills. Um, hopefully I can make it down the hill here. It'll definitely be iffy but what the hell. If I die I die but no going back now. I have to make it to the church or else I'm not gonna survive too long against this already. Oh, yeah, I know that I can make it down here. Just wanna keep on moving. Holy shit, that was a pretty good shot on his part. I could scoop by him, but he was definitely paying attention. Shit, he was the freaking 120 millimeter, it looks like. Yeah, it's definitely not the big gun on him. Wait for him to fire. Yeah, I can go around. just was a little bit too long to be able to shoot him. Let's see if I can ram one of these guys though. What the fuck? Why'd you drown? It's not right. Oh, 
Really? Uh, close, but what the hell. Pretty good match either way. That was kind of stupid that both of them tried to drown, or did drown themselves, and I left a few HP on him. But overall, pretty good fight in my opinion. We have an ace tanker here, high caliber, and a steel ball. Completed quite a few missions, or some missions too. Did 4,587 damage, destroyed five tanks, top experience too, the enemy team. <laughs> They guess they kind of spread out their damage a bit, but they all didn't do enough damage to be able to take us out. But I was definitely a little lucky up there on the hill, but luck always helps out. So overall, did a lot of damage. Received 14 hits, and I bounced 4,050 damage, which the IS-7 is really good at bouncing if you know its armor well, and you keep those angles high where the shells are incoming to you. So overall, I also spot it for just under 3,000 damage. I spot it for 2,938, which definitely is freaking great. When you, can go, when you combine the two, it's over 7,000 combined damage. Um, so pretty damn good game on IS-7. And with those missions and the increased income it's getting right now, net over 100,000 credits as well. But the trick to the IS-7, there is a weak spot guide on my website for it, wakuru.com. But the IS-7, you really just want to hide this lower glacius if you can, um, behind rubble, dead tanks, or any low um, hills that you can kind of angle on and peek over with your low gun depression, but you just want to keep your front or frontal glacius highly angled, and your turret is pretty strong in the front. There's not many weak spots. Um, the weak parts of it, these aren't actually modeled. Um, if people hit these little rings back here, or this very thin strip here, um, that's the only real weak part. So if you keep your angles high, then you're going to bounce a ton of damage, like I did. And IS-7, while it's not mobile as its top speed indicates, it's just mobile enough that, especially going downhill, um, it's pretty decent. But if you're turning left and right from standstill or climbing up a hill, then you notice that it's pretty sluggish with its track resistance. But overall, really good tank in my opinion, um, especially for public matches. And thanks for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, wotguru.com.